Hello all of you beautiful people on YouTube, and yes, I am talking to you. Well, I thought I would hop on the bandwagon with this Draw My Life video, so here we go. It's not going to be that exciting, but... Alright, I was born in Flint, Michigan, and it is really boring here. And that's my mom and dad. They were never married. And hey, look, that's me. Um, I was really, really into Disney and any kind of cartoons, really, when I was little. And, like, all the time I would pretend that I was all these different characters. And, like, one day I would be somebody from a Disney movie. The next day, like, I would pretend to be Matilda when I was walking through the grocery store and the automatic doors would open. And, yeah, that was pretty much, like, my main hobby when I was little. Um, I went to a really small elementary school and had a... A lot of friends there, and it was pretty cool. Nothing really happened. Then I went to middle school and met some new friends. Old friends kind of drifted away into cliques. Some of them moved, which sucked. Um, that's when I started getting into anime. And, yeah, as you can tell, the first one that I really got into was Inuyasha. And I was thoroughly obsessed. Definitely had a weeboo phase thrown in there. Um, met one of my best friends in my anime phase, and that was through Naruto, and that's my friend Momo. Even though I thought he was a gothic freak. Sorry, Momo. <laughs> in 2006, I went to my first anime con with my dad, which was Yomacon, and that kind of sparked my interest of going to other ones. So I've gone to some in Ohio, and Pennsylvania, and Florida, and it's pretty awesome. The first legit cosplay that I did at a convention was Winnie Rockbell from Full Metal Alchemist. And I guess my first Halloween costume cosplay was Luffy from One Piece. Um, most recent ones I've done is Ramona Flowers from Scott Pilgrim. And also a turret from the game Portal. And that one was fun because it was really cute. Um, anywho. In 2008 I met this boy named Chris and we started dating. And he was my first love, so how romantic, aww. But that didn't last. We ended up breaking up in February 2010, and that sucked, but I moved on. Um, I started talking to this boy from my forensics class, and his name was Alex, and we really hit it off. And we ended up dating in March. And we've been together ever since. Three years and going strong. Love you, honey. Mwah. <laughs> Um, anywho, in the midst of all this business, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life at all. Um, at first I wanted to draw manga, but I really sucked at it, so that wasn't going to happen. Then I was like, hey, maybe I can do something with video games. It's like, eh, that's a lot of work, so no thanks. And so for a little bit I had been getting into makeup tutorials and like the theatrical stuff on YouTube. Like, turning myself into Poppy from Repo the Phonetic Opera, or the Cheshire Cat from Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. And that was really cool. And I discovered Peter Lude, Michelle Phan, Bubs Beauty, and all, all these other different YouTubers who were doing stuff like this. And with all the makeup, I was starting to get into the hair aspect of it, too. Because I was thinking that all of it was awesome. So I was like, hey, why don't I do cosmetology? So I ended up settling on that. And after I graduated from Genesee with my class of 34 people um, and about a year of just taking a break, I went to Regency Beauty Institute and I met lifelong friends there and I had amazing educators and I ended up graduating from there with a master designer status and I actually hit it twice and nobody at that campus had ever done it before so I was pretty bossing. So that was awesome and I've just been kind of chilling since I graduated until I take my state boards next month. And I'm happy, so that's always good. <laughs> and yeah, that's my Draw My Life. Thanks for watching.